everybody, Dee here with Dad in the Wormhole, and I got Charlie with me, and we wanted to talk to you a little bit about gut-loading crickets and mealworms, just because I think he likes his food. So most people, when they do talk about gut loading, they normally talk about gut loading right before you actually feed your mealworms, your crickets, whatever to your pet, you are feeding them and filling their guts at that time with as many bonuses as you can. So fresh fruits, veggies, making sure that all your carnivores are actually getting some of those fruit, veggies, and anything else that you can stuff in there into their system right as they eat them. For me, I like to actually raise quite a few of my feeders myself. Right now I have a lot of mealworms and I have started some isopods as well to add to the collection. And I like to gut load them right from day one to just make sure that when they hit that tank they are as healthy as possible. And that starts even with the substrate. So what I have here is some bran flakes and some oats. So I'm not just feeding one type of substrate. I'm actually having two types of substrates in here for the mealworms to make sure that they are as healthy as can be. So with the bran, I do just kind of crush some up and sprinkle it along the top. They are going to dig through all of this and get it everywhere. No worries. <laughs> they are very good at that. So this is going to last these pile of worms until they are raised up and ready to go in with my piranhas, the leopard gecko, or in with the goldfish. So that's all we need with that. Now with their food to make sure that they are getting the best nutrients throughout their life cycle, I feed the littler worms more harder food like potatoes carrots, that kind of thing. And as they get bigger, they will get treats such as apples and other things that are softer and a lot more juicy that they can eat. But you still have to really watch these for mold. Let's take a closer look. Here is one of my ready to go trays. As you can see, I do have some carrots in here, lots of finished potatoes, and even some apples. So that I know that these guys have got their guts are loaded with really good food. And throughout their life, they have also had some really good food as well. You can see them just starting to turn into beetles so that I know that these guys are at their maximum size. What I will be doing over here is just moving our beetles. <laughs> Let me move my light over so you can see. This is my closet because it is the most neutral temperature in the house here. So I will be moving these beetles when I get bored one day <laughs> into our brand new bed and starting a new batch of worms. So I hope you liked my gut loading video. I like to gut load all throughout their life cycle. I just think it is the biggest bonus. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, that like button. Let me know that this was a good idea. And I will see you next week.